Mahalo everyone, and welcome to another deck video here on the Jolly Scarecrows channel. You're with me, Joe, and today I'm going to present to you a Thunderies deck, which, um, if you've been in the Yu-Gi-Oh! sphere in the past month, I'm sure you've seen plenty of decks um, around. I'll briefly explain um, how the main combos work, and also the added spice that I've added to this deck, making it a Rainbow Thunderies. And I guess I'll start straight there. Um, so, with... Perform Pal 5 Rainbow Magician. Um, essentially, if you put it in the Pendulum Zone, if your opponent controls no set cards, or you actually as well, um, they cannot attack or activate their monster effects. And we obviously know that one of the main locks you get out of the Thunderese deck is being able to summon uh, Dark Simorg. Um, basically, as soon as your opponent enters their main phase, if you're going first. And that prevents them from setting cards. So, provided that you're able to get the Rainbow Magician out first turn, and then the Dark Magician, uh, sorry, the Dark Simorg on their, um, for in their main phase of their turn, then you're able to basically just lock them out of playing immediately. It's a horrible uh, thing to face, and uh, it can be incredibly effective. Um, so, how do the Thunderies work? Well, um, if you have not uh, come across them before, essentially they are a series of, uh, in the main, one-star uh, wing beasts, and when you normal summon them, they get an effect, and you can then normal summon another um, once the effect is resolved. And with Rabina, it lets you search for any of your, your level ones, um, and so your typical opening play will be to try and get Rabina, um, once you've played that, you then want to get the Eagle, the Eaglin, and that lets you uh, get any of your higher level Flunderies, and with that you want to get the Empen. Empen will allow you to fetch the Trap Dreaming Town, and then and from there you're kind of set up um, for the second turn Dark Simorg. Because with Dreaming Town, immediately after your opponent does something, um, you can chain it, and you can normal summon a uh, monster from your hand, and the Rabina and the Eaglin, when you tribute them to summon the Empen, you can immediately get them back to your hand again. Um, and yeah, that lets you do another search from your deck, and with Rabina you could search um, the, the Ostrich, which lets you um, normal summon again if you banish a card from the grave, or you can um, select the token, which lets you bring back the Banish card, um, and that can be any Flunderese card, so even the, uh, the spells and traps. Um, or you can get, if you're being uh, really evil, the Barrier Statue, um, which prevents your opponent from special summoning. And so it can be kind of situationally dependent as to um, what you do. Now, the other tech in this deck, because we are after the level 1 uh, Rainbow Magician, and because most of the deck is level 1, we're playing three copies of Where Art Thou? And so, depending on your opening play, um, you'll often have a spare normal summon, and you'll often have a spare one star, so you'll want to play that, and that will let you open up Where Art Thou? to allow you to search for the Rainbow Magician. Then you can immediately stick that in your, your Pendulum Zone. Uh, often you will have uh, a spell that you or trap that you're able to set. It might well be Dreaming Town, um, and it's it's actually better to um, enact the combo and lock yourself out of your monster effects and your um, and being able to attack because it prevents the effects from activating. Um, but things like Dark Simorg and uh, obviously this Rainbow Magicians, the Pendulum Zone, they're continuous effects. So because they're not activating, um, you will have locked your opponent out of being able to play, and all you'll then need to do is wait until you can draw a, uh, a Spell or Trap card, and we're running, obviously, uh, three Extravagance, um, three Duality, and uh, you know, a whole bunch of, of Spell and Traps. Um, for the uh, for being able to lock them out of using their spells, we're running three copies of Anti-Spell Fragrance, um, so, you know, if you draw a god hand to begin with, and it's it's fairly possible to do, we are running more than the 40, and that's really to get the, the ratios uh, right, because obviously if you have three anti-spell fragrance, um, the, the, and three were off, that it can, it can brick with the, with the tribute monsters in it too. So, um, we're running, I think, 53 cards. 
and we found this ratio works pretty well. Um, what else is there to say? So we're not running the riser in this, we're just running a mixed, va uh, sorry, mixed valley apex avian. So your your goal, I guess, uh, turn two is to have Simorg, the Empen, and the mixed valley apex avian, and that will allow you to stun any effect your opponent has, get it back to your hand, and you can use the effects of um, Rabina and and the various other level ones, and hopefully just keep being able to bring out the Apex Avian. So it acts as a constant, um, um, a constant negate essentially. And if you can keep keep up Empens, um, we're running two in this. And to be honest, uh, it's probably better to run three Empen and no Snow than having one Snow. I like it in there because I really like the uh, the artwork essentially. But you could run three Empen and just keep searching for. Um, things like the scary sea counter, we're only running one of them. Um, but to be honest, you should only ever need to counter one of their cards at uh, max. Or you can go in with unexplored winds and uh, just tribute their monsters off if their problem piece is on the board or something. Uh, yes, uh, otherwise it's fairly standard um, Blundery stuff. If uh, so we're running Crossout Designator, obviously it's an expensive card, um, so you can replace that with the Book of the Moon. And we're also running, um, because this is on Nexus, we're running three of the Searcher, which is currently OCG exclusive. Uh, the Journey Preparation essentially lets you banish uh, a Winged Beast, so it can... You know, sometimes you're in a situation where you end up banishing Empen or something like that, and then you can search for a Flundery, so you'll be looking for either the Toucan to being rightfully banished, um, or a Rabina if you haven't got one. Um, so if you want you can replace that with, well either don't replace it and simply lower the amount of cards in the deck, or um, maybe wing requital when it comes out in a few weeks. Um, it does, it's a worse card because you need to have the board in order to use its draw effect, um, and it's quite ridiculous really, the, you know, with two wing beast monsters in the field you can draw two. Um, I'm, I'm fairly certain this will this will see play anyway due to the amount of wing beasts you get on the field with Thunderies. Um, it uh, the deck obviously doesn't it doesn't overly tackle the problem of um, essentially you have that normal summon effect being being key, and if your opponent can negate that, it stops it in its tracks. But um, obviously with Crossout Designator, you know you're targeting the one copy of Ash that's in the deck. Um, that's kind of how we've, we're trying to solve that problem. The other things to note in terms of the extra deck, obviously Flunderies don't really use the extra deck, but uh, Promenade Thrush is super useful if your opponent has, uh, if they're opening plays to set a card, and say it's something like, I don't know, Skill Drain. Um, actually, no, Skill Drain's a bad example. It's something annoying that you want to get rid of. Um, then you can use Promenade Thrush to pop it really simply, and that will allow the Rainbow Magician's effect to activate. Um, otherwise, it's, you know, a fairly standard thing. Link Rebo, in case you, uh, I think it's Ostrich, um, in case you draw into a, a, a problem hand. Um, sometimes I bring out uh, the Simorg, which essentially allows you to um, prevent your opponent from targeting your wing beasts, and then you're allowed to special summon. So that can often be useful if you've got on the field uh, maybe a Simorg and an Empen, um, but your opponent's still able to play because you haven't been able to get the fight rainbow. Sometimes you're able to get out the Simorg, and that will allow you to fetch uh, Apex Avian if they've managed to lock you out of being able to play Eaglin or, or whatever reason you've managed to lock yourself out because your board's too full. Um... What else is there to say? No, I, I think that's pretty much everything on that. Um, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this little twist on the video, and hopefully um, after this uh, you'll be able to see that in action. Um, it's a slightly odd version because we've drawn the Perform Power straight away and two Wear Off now, um, so you can see just how effective this deck is, even at drawing a pretty bad hand. And yeah, with that, hopefully um, I will see you on the next video here on the Jolly Skeckos channel.